Let there be glory for Team Galactic. <laughs> Wah! Master Cyrus is the greatest! Oh boy. Here we are at the big baddie. It's going to Mount Coronet. I will say the Cyrus finale is definitely harder. That's Saturn down. That is the first part of Team Galactic. Look at me, I'm polishing badges. I forgot you could do this in this game. Anyway, we got the Icicle Badge from Candace. Shout out to Pony, Aroha the Ponyta, sweeping through like a boss. Um, we had backup plans. Uh, didn't even need to use them. Just Pony, or Roha just clutched up and won us the day, you know? Um, uh, and then what did we do? Oh, then we start the Team Galactic stuff, uh, because they are still trying to steal all of the Lake Spirits. Uh, went to the warehouse, got access to their HQ, went through their HQ, beat Cyrus number two, and we beat Jupiter. Saturn? Saturn. We beat Saturn. That's who it was. And now, now we are tasked with climbing Mount Coronet to arrive at the Spear Pillar. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. I think. Um, and then we got... Mars and Jupiter, and then we got Cyrus. And this Cyrus is no joke, not a joking Cyrus. He is very serious, and uh, it is a uh, spooky, spooky boy. Uh, fly. Okay, we're gonna go to 210, which is over here. Okay, I don't even know what Pokemon some of these guys have. Okay, we already faced this old man. Got him. I'm pretty sure we were required to face this lady. Okay, there's the ninja. What does the ninja boy Nathan have on this route? It's platinum. Sure it is. Ninja Boy Nathan has a stunky and a gold bat, so... Um... Yeah. Let's give it a go! Smoke screen, faint, toxic. Gig. Nice. <sighs> the levels are like enough of a difference where like I probably don't have to worry about anything. I'd be kind of surprised if I do. Oh, that's right. There's of uh, accuracy drops in the deep fog. That's what it is. Okay, so I do have to like be at least vigilant. Luckily, I have Aerial Ace. The only flying move this thing learns. Get wrecked. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> I don't even know what I was worried about. Uh, nothing to worry about the whole time. E Good stuff, Indigo. I believe in you. My boy. There's the smoky smoke ball. Here we go. Oh my god, I thought I was about to face a trainer for a second. Okay. Ariel and you surf. Let's get this thing. Sweet. I get some of my vitamins back. Climb the rocks. Looker! Observe, if you will, that hole. <laughs> the looker, my guy. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit. But the wall 
It is no longer there. It lies in pieces, do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly, I do not know. There is but one cause. Team Galactic's Cyrus. And now we are all caught up. Now to the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me if you will. Ha ha ha. You can relax now. I, you see, I understand. You are far superior to me. Facts. As are the commanders. Cyrus too, naturally. Team Galactic is beyond my reach. Please, you must stop them, for only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It is a little something I obtained in investigation long ago. The Black Flute. Please, you must stop Team Galactic. Wait. Is this a double battle up here? We're at Spear Pillar now. Yeah, it's a double battle. Ugh. Let's see these guys. Oh, I have to literally face them. We will try and heal after these guys, though. Because these after these guys, we do have Jupiter and Mars. And then we're going to up him to level 48. Okay. So, uh, the Crow Gunk has Mud Bomb and Sucker Punch. Uh, the Stunky just has Slash, Toxic, Night Slash, and Memento. Um, and so, I think we just protect the Roha. And we Aerial Ace the Crow Gunk. Nice, didn't use Sucker Punch, which means it was probably going to use Mud Bomb. Let's see it toxic the Roha slot. That'd be perfect. Okay, Night Slash. Little spooky, but we should be okay. Oh wow, we tanked that like a boss. Good lord, I love Indigo so much. Okay, now we flame th Oh god, I give it choice specs. What am I doing with my life? Should I go for the double protect? Um, okay, what is it gonna use? I mean, I'm going to kill the crow gunk so i gotta it's slash toxic night slash and memento so i think we just switch to steel here and then we just aerial ace the crow gunk again easy crow gunk okay that's one side down Uh, we then just discharge. Ooh. Oh, Indigo is immune to it, actually. I did almost lose Indigo. I was the, I was on the, I forgot that, uh, I forgot, not Buizel. Floatzel had a priority move. Big stupid. This thing is ground type, right? I'm just going to double check. I know it is. Yes. Okay. So he's not going to, you know what? Actually, I do, I don't need to do this. I, do, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. It just spooks me to use... Actually, we're doing it. I'd, I would like to see it work. Um, yeah, I almost lost Indigo. I've almost lost Indigo a couple of times. <laughs> oh, wow. Seriously? <laughs> Can't win them all, I suppose. was bad news. I cannot believe I forgot how Aqua Jet worked. I was just like, oh, I'll just leave with U-Turn. And it was like, no, you're dumb. <laughs> you're gonna stay, and you're gonna die. <laughs> or almost die. A crit would have killed me. I got lucky. That's the second time Aerial Ace let it live on one, by the way, in a row, so that's fun. Uh, my click shorts button is not working on my uh, st uh, Steam Deck. <laughs> Which is good. 
Uh, oh, sorry, Andrew, you said something. Dude, when I was home, I found my old Game Boy Color with yellow still in it. Damn, it still works. That's impressive. Okay, now we now we go heal for sure. I can't use that here. Do I have to... Can I dig to get out of here? I think I just go up front. No, I go down to the bottom, based. I don't need the bird, so I can bring someone else. I think I just bring Scyther as like a, uh, in case of emergency, break out the, the very good Pokemon. <laughs> Because uh, Skuntank and uh, Skuntank and Perugly, like, yes, it has Flamethrower as long as I can kill the Skuntank. But even then, I should probably survive because it is not, you know. It is not a special attacker, necessarily. Fight! Cutscene time. There are these two baddies. I need the thumbnail. Hold on, I'm going to save, because I like saving. I don't know why I like saving for the thumbnail. One more. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. That's a thumbnail, baby. Whew. Let's ride. Don't you start the party without me. Thanks, Barry. You're so helpful. Honestly, they would be easier to do one-on-one. -on -one, for the record. Okay, gotta remember, which side is Jupiter on? Jupiter is on the left. Jupiter is on the left. That Bronzor has Rock Slide. The other one just has Confuse Ray. So I want to hit the left Bronzor first so that I don't have to deal with Rock Slide on a Ponyta. I'm going to Flamethrower the left Bronzor. This should Oko with choice specs. One. That brings in a gold bat with sludge bomb, air cutter, mega drain, and mean look. Raises the team's special defense, which is fine. Oh, Munch Lass, you, you suck. Can I see if this kills the gold bat? I might just try and take out the one side first. Uh. Yeah, this thing does not not come even close to killing. Okay, that's fine. We tied for silver? Dang, all right, go us. Oh wait, now that light screen is up, does flamethrower kill? I don't think so. I think we have to switch. I think we just focus on the left side at this point. Because now, yeah, Flamethrower Super doesn't kill because now they're in light screen. Ooh, good call, me. Eric's using this. Ooh, wait, shoot. Oh, no. Hold on. Now I got to check. Oh, no. Now I got to do. Now I got to do calcs. Ugh. Man, Munchlax, you suck. Um, What an awful start for this thing. Discharge. Uh, wise glasses. Ooh, this does not kill. I can't kill the Bronzor, but the Bronzor is probably not going to do almost any damage to me. The Golbat is still a bigger threat. I think I just stay in with Roha for a turn. Well, actually, no, because I'm trying to think of Elite Four Pokemon. I really, really could use Roha, because Roha's good against... Uh, Roha's good against a lot of this Elite Four. Or at least the first guy. Like, pretty much once, like, sweeps. Fire, 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 fire. Like, oh my gosh, this thing goes crazy against that. Um... I think we switch to Steel. Flamethrower. Actually, no, I think we have to stay in because of flash, just in case of flash fire. Okay. Flamethrower, gold bat. We're going to have to take a risk either way on this one. We're just super scared of mean look. Okay. Okay, that's fine. 
That sucks. Okay, that's fine. We should kill the Golbat next turn. Body slamming a Bronzor. What a feat. Okay. We flamethrower. The gold bat. We should kill. Let's hope for it. We hope we hit the range, because I think technically there is a small chance that if we low rolled on each of them, we didn't kill. Okay, perfect. We're going to focus down on the one side now. That's the strategy. Skun Tank has Night Slash, Poison Jab, Flamethrow, and Smoke Screen. Nice, Munchlax. Okay, cool. Okay, we're not going to keep Roha in at this point. We gotta switch to... Okay, so it's got... Night Slash, Poison Jab, Flamethrower, Smoke Screen... Do I switch to Gligar? I think... What items did I give it? Citrus Berry. Okay, so... And it's got really good defense, really good speed. And this has... Really good defense, no speed, and wide lens. I think we switch to Indigo. So we switch to Indigo because the Skun Tank has Smoke Screen, and if it uses Smoke Screen, then we got an out with Aerial Ace. Um, Bronzor does have Gyro Ball and Extra Sensory, but we're also trying to stall out the some of the turns a little bit. The Skun Tank sprite is literally pissing on us. It is super nice of it to do. Okay, that sucks. It is what it is. We're going to dig the Skun Tank. Come on, Munchlax. Munchlax is so useless. <laughs> Actually so bad. Okay, we dig the Skun Tank. Yes, we have to wait two turns, but it's fine. I would kind of want it to, I kind of want it to kill this Munchlax. This Munchlax is the most useless thing in the world. And after we get one side down, then we are in a very good spot. Thank you for the help there, Munchlax. Light screen wore off, so it's probably going to use a, a, some other move. That's one. That's one side down. We are in a much better position now. That's fine. We're going to have to switch from Gliscor. Nice Citrus Berry trigger. Perfect. That should actually be kind of nice. Um, because I'm going to U-turn the Bronzor. Which, because of Screech and it's lowering a defense two stage, should actually do a lot of damage. Nice kill with the crit. Let's go, Indigo. Okay. Um, and then because it's going to switch into um, the Golbat, most likely, um, because it died, I'm going to switch into... Ooh, do I just switch into Granite, actually? So I want to switch into the Granite if it switches into Perugly instead. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. I think it's just, I think it's just, I think it's just steel. Come on, let's see the goal bat. Okay, I knew it was going to be Perugly. Okay, first things first, we Thunder Wave Perugly. Yes, kill the Munchlax, please. Light screen is down now, so we should be safe, and also this basically paralyzing this Perugly pretty much guarantees us this, uh, this here dude. Um, let's see, Pokemon. Let's check moves. Discharge just paralyzes. This lowers special defense, so we always flash cannon. 
You can discharge Lax too. I could, <laughs> if I really wanted to. Oh, that's true. Ah, I'm gonna. He's. I'm gonna keep him in. He's like still alive at this point, so I'm not gonna like. Now that I've beaten down the one side, it's like not a problem. Not as much of a problem. So I think we just flash can and try and lower its special defense, and just go from there. Hopefully, it uses body slam because I would really like to hit this range the next time around. Nice paralyze, get wrecked. Okay, well, I'm not killing the Munchlax because he's a filthy slut, so, you know. I would have rather you had the stockpiles, I'm not going to lie there. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, let's see if we hit the hit a range. This might be a range to kill. We'll see. Come on. Steal, my boy. My inanimate object, you. Love you, buddy. Let's go. Discharge. Everybody. Can't touch this Magnemite. No, you can't. Come on. Easy. Damn. Come on, Munchlax. Use Body Slam. That a boy, Munchlax. Let's go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go. That's Mars and Jupiter. Should have done it by yourself. It would have been even worse. Thank you for the healing me. But <laughs> he just leaves. Cutscene. Let's go. And this, the red chain I replicated with te technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. And the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. summon their gods. I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities is mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as a spirit can remain. I should have expected as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mespirit, the being of emotion. <laughs> the Pokemon have come to protest, protect Sinnoh? Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit to balance either the Pokemon of time or space, but they can't maintain balance against the two. Now, when both Dialga and Palkia are here, 
Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Axeman, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you and your Pokemon, from those precious to you, it is time my dream will become my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged? Interesting. Hello? Why is it saying head smash? I copied it an emoji. <laughs> Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus, won't have you interfere. Oopsie, wormhole. Cynthia, no. Oopsie. Dippin'. As elf, big dippin'. Mess spirit, third time's a dippin'. Ooh, not dippin' yet. But showing itself and then dippin'. <laughs> I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was. One more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never has never been spoken. Was never to be spoken. <laughs> Words. Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours, the upside down. I wonder if that's where <laughs> never mind. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. Wonky, wonky, curve to the left, curve to the right. The pillars are distorting. It's because of the portal. It's joining us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Cynthia, are you ready? We have to change Cyrus. No, not yet. We switch our dudes. A few minutes later. All right. Who's ready to go to the distortion world, y'all? I froze my thing. <laughs> Hold on, two seconds. <laughs> okay, now who's ready to go to the distortion world? <laughs> Whoops. Puzzle time! Oh, that's right, I forgot there's a puzzle! I forgot there's a puzzle. Oops. <laughs> 